Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into my channel. So today I'm coming to you with a video about four ways to keep your hair growing long and strong. Yes. All right, so this video was actually requested by my love, Ashley Delusma. Um, and basically she said that she wanted to know what were my, what was my advice, my tips, my tricks, my suggestions on how to maintain length in your hair. For me and my hair, there are things that I do that I feel are beneficial to everyone. And most of what I'm gonna tell you can fit into anyone's lifestyle. But, um, but I, these are the four things that I think are the best way to maintain length. So thing number one is I highly recommend you get trims every single season. Uh, there's a lot of people who do trim their hair on their own routinely or they'll do what they call dusting where you just kind of clip the ends after you've done like a twist or a braid and you have a little bit of scraggliness at the end. They'll trim that and they call it dusting. I highly suggest you go to a professional I know that everyone doesn't have access to the natural hair stylist that we do here in New York but you don't need to go to a natural hair stylist to go to someone who knows how to trim hair okay but trimming your hair every season or every four months is a good guide just in case you don't do it at the top or end of the season um, is a great way to retain your length because after about four months your hair has experienced some weathering. So you want to get rid of the split ends, the breakage that might be there, any unevenness that has been caused from just how your hair might naturally grow. Um, and if you experience chemical treatments, like you do your colors um, or you do like the keratin, you know, those things weather your hair as well. If you use a lot of heat, those weather your hair as well. So you want to make sure you're getting your hair trimmed so you can keep it healthy and you can keep the, the look looking pristine, you know, and keep it, keep it classy, right? You want your hair to always look polished. Um, the next thing that I would say for length retention would be you got to keep your hair moisturized. Um... And I talked about this all the time, but moisturizing is not just the products you put on top of it when your hair is is dry and you're styling it. Moisturize happens from inside. Your hair could be completely dry because you haven't drinking water all day. And you might be like, really, people don't drink water all day? Like, yes, boo-boo. There's people who don't drink water all day all day they have to remind themselves to drink water well what are they doing if they're not drinking water they're drinking everything else they're drinking juice they're drinking soda i mean you name it they're not drinking water and there's a lot that goes on in your body that is going to be impacted um, on the outside. You're going to show the symptoms of lack of water, lack of being hydrated on your hair, on your skin, and your nails, everywhere. So keep your body hydrated by drinking lots of water. And then, of course, in your wash day, use good conditioners. Use good deep conditioners. Don't forget your deep conditioning. Um, and deep conditioning doesn't just mean put the conditioner on and then just leave it on while you bathe. Get out of the shower, go under the hooded dryer or the hot cap or whatever, put a plastic cap on, put a towel on if you don't have a hooded dryer, and actually deep condition, okay? Um, and then, of course, use good moisturizers. Products that are really moisturizing have rich butters in them and they have nice oils. Those are the two main things to be looking for in any product that you're using to keep your hair moisturized. The third thing that I would suggest for length retention which is something that is part of my regimen like all the way around is avoiding excessive use of hair tools um i meet people who tell me they comb their hair every day and i'm not exaggerating because i look at them and i'm like well how long does that take how painful is that and how much breakage do you have? Because, you know, after the first day of washing my hair where I'm doing a thorough little detangling and I actually put the twist in, once I take my twist out and then I style my hair and then try to like twist it back at night, if I was to go in and like detangle my hair again that night, I would have a lot of breakage. Most likely it's not a bunch of shedding because I just detangled properly the night before. And then if I do that again the next day, take my twist down, and then I thoroughly detangle my hair at night before retwisting it, once again, tons of breakage. So you're weathering your hair on your own by overusing and abusing hair tools. 
our hair is not straight anymore. So using combs and brushes and all of these tools to like, you know, get through there and detangling it all the time is really excessive. If it's that important to you that you remove all shed hair before you like put your hair up at night, I highly suggest you use your fingers. Use your fingers to get the shed hair out. I mean, when I'm twisting down my hair, I'm, you know, gently removing shed hair along the way and that's not excessive. It's very gentle. It's very, you know, you want to be gentle and as careful as possible with our natural hair because it's extremely fragile. Contrary to popular belief, girl, our hair is fragile. So yeah, I know it might seem weird to some of you to hear that I only comb my hair on my wash day. I don't comb my hair during the week. Not at all. I part with my fingers, even this part. You can see it's not even perfect. I part with my fingers and I twist my hair back with no comb, no brush. No comb, no brush. Um, but that's definitely like a key way to avo avoid unnecessary breakage and weathering because that's going to be the key to length retention. And the final tip that I would advise for you to continue to maintain your length is to stay away from heat. Um, if you are watching this video and you are like, I need my hair laid, girl. Janelle, I don't care what you're talking about. I need my hair laid. Then you probably aren't as concerned with length retention as someone else might be. Um, I find that people who want length retention more within the natural hair community are the women whose hair shrinks a lot and they're looking for that. Um, but if you're finding that you're always using the blow dryer, you know, or the flat iron because you want to show off more of your length and then six months down the line you have a lot of breakage and your hair is still short, you might want to evaluate your hair practices. I don't use heat to straighten my hair at all. I do use my blow dryer after I do my workouts because I sweat a lot. I'll run like three, eight miles <laughs> and then my twist will be soaking wet. Like you can see the water dripping off the ends of the twist. So I will use a blow dryer with the diffuser cap on there and I will blow dry my roots and go in and hold the twist and try to blow dry down the length of the twist. Um, and I will use a hooded dryer to do my deep conditionings um, and so on. But this is a form of um, less aggressive heat and a blow dryer or actually a hooded dryer is considered non-direct heat because it's not like heat is right on my hair like with a flat iron, you know, smoothing it out to get it as straight as possible or like a hot comb or like a curler. It's air being blown all over and kind of drying it in a somewhat um, natural way, you know, not really, but you know what I mean, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't use heat. It's a preference of mine. It might not be a preference of yours, but if you are using it and concerned about your length retention, then I would say evaluate that. Try to create a regimen that doesn't include heat for a certain amount of time and see what results you get because the more you go from curly to straight with heat styling, the more risks you are um, at getting heat damage and the more you weather your hair because heat is damaging. It is whether you want to believe it or not, whether your stylist is the most talented or not, whether you got your own uh, regimen down with it or not. Heat is heat. It's, it's still damaging. So less you use it, the better things will be, and I say avoid it if possible, you know. I think that our hair looks beautiful in its natural, afro-y, kinky, curly, coily state. <laughs> so, uh, those are my four. Four. This is like eight, right? <laughs> These are like eight. Those are my four. There we go. Four <laughs> tips. To retain length. I hope this video was helpful and um, let me know if you have any questions. Leave them below of course and if you have any additional suggestions as to how we all can uh, continue to preserve our length and retain our length, share those as well. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every couple of days. If you have any questions, leave them below and as always, I love you for watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.